Namaste yogis. Welcome to Wake Up Yoga. We are going to start uh, in standing today at the top of our mat. So while you're making your way to the top of the mat, I'm going to read our waiver. In order to make these classes as freely accessible as possible to our participants, we will be using a verbal warning and assumption of risk at the beginning of class. Participation in this online class is voluntary. Physical activity programs may result in injury, and by participating, you assume the risk of injury that may result from your participation. We strongly recommend that you participate from a space that is suitable for this activity. For example, make sure that you have moved nearby furniture and other potential hazards. If you are participating in a yoga class or a class that involves lying on the ground, we recommend using a mat, or if you don't have one, a carpeted area. Participants are encouraged to stop if they experience pain or injury and should seek appropriate medical advice or care as needed. The Mary Health and Wellness strongly recommends that each participant have an annual physical exam and follow the advice of your health care provider before participating. So as you settle in this morning, allowing yourself the time to just scan the body really quick, noticing what's going on this morning, noticing what's going on in the mind space, And then making your way into your mountain pose, maybe gently moving the feet, maybe even lifting them up and down. And then drawing awareness into the knees. Start to engage the transverse of the Take a nice external rotation of the shoulder blades and relax them down. Maybe the palms lay forward. Then start reaching the crown of the head towards the ceiling as the chin comes to neutral. Then from your awareness to your breath, allowing yourself to know it us. Where was the breath at this morning? See if you can add characteristics to the breath. Noticing the inhale and the exhale separately. Maybe noticing the cooler temperature of the breath as you inhale, the warmer temperature of the breath as you exhale. Start to notice that moment in breath at the top of the inhale, the bottom of the exhale. And then deepening the breath, each inhale, just sit a little bit more air. Maybe expanding that moment and pause for breath pause, lengthening each exhale. Starting to lengthen the spine as you build the breath, grounding it a little bit more into the earth. Feeling the strength, the stability in your mountain pose. And then allow yourself to find a rhythm of breath that just feels right for you this morning. As you build the breath this morning, you may have noticed us that there was an inhale that spoke to you and an exhale that spoke to you. Allow yourself to settle into that space. You can take your time and find that rhythm of breath here as that rhythm will truly be your guide for practice today. As we move through practice, allow that breath to be your guide. 
a gentle reminder, you're always welcome to deepen the practice if your body is calling for that, but also a reminder to back away if your body calls to that. It's all just perfect as it is. Now, once you've settled into that rhythm of breath, bring hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, or Samasthiti posture. Allowing yourself to set an intention for your practice today. Why did you step onto your mat? Once that intention forms, allow yourself to seal that intention in with a nice deep inhale, long exhale, and then releasing hands back down along the side for mountain pose. On an inhale, lift the arms up and overhead, drawing the hands together. Find that steeple mudra, interlacing all the fingers except the index. Draw the shoulder blades back and down. Begin rocking side to side, lengthening the side bodies. If you'd like, heel toning the feet a little closer together, making it a little more of a balanced pose. If it feels right to pause on one side to take a little longer breath, go ahead and go there. Making sure you allow the time to open the other side as well. Exploring the side bodies, noticing what's going on. Then making your way back to center, back to stillness. Draw the hands through to heart center. Palms down along the side of the body, setting up mountain. Bringing the feet back into that mountain pose if you need to. Inhale, lift the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, long spine. You're going to swan that forward. Our first forward fold of the morning. So bend the knees as much as you need to. Bring the abs and the chest to rest on the quad. Being gentle on the body. Maybe shaking the head yes and no here. Maybe rocking side to side. As the body feels ready for it, starting to straighten the legs. Then pausing back in the center, releasing the hands if they are on the elbows, and then tracing the hands up the shins. Find that half look, that tabletop. Exhale, release, maybe going a little deeper into your forward fold. We're going to do that two more times at your pace. Tracing the hands up, finding the shins, finding that tabletop back. Exhale, releasing. Third time at your pace. And then pausing here in forward fold. We're going to take the hands and place them underneath the feet. Drawing the fingers up to the wrists, maybe massaging the wrists a little, maybe even using the fingers to massage the feet. If it feels right now to lengthen the body a little more, drawing the forehead to the body, go ahead and go there. And then releasing the hands from the feet, we're going to find that half lift one more time. Exhale, release. And then drawing the arms out to a T. We're going to press into the floor. Nice long spine with the arms up and in. We're up. Palms up and touching in prayer hand. Maybe pushing the hips forward, finding a little back bend here. Coming back to neutral and then just swan diving it forward. 
placing both hands on the mat. You're going to step back with the right foot and we're going to set up a low lunge here. So we're going to take the knee, bring it down to the mat, come on to the top of the foot, make sure the left knee is over the left ankle. And then we have a couple options here this morning. If you're feeling like you really need that dynamic movement, allow yourself to start to draw the heel back towards uh, the hip back towards the heel. And then second option today is if you're feeling like you need to come up into your low lunge with the arms up and overhead. Wherever you're at, we're going to meet back with the hands framing that front foot. We're going to untap the back toe. We're going to lift the back knee. We're going to rock ourselves forward back to that forward fold, bringing the left foot to the right. We're going to inhale, take a half left. Exhale, release, placing the hands on the mat. We're going to step back with the left foot. Lower that knee down, come on to the top of the foot. Same options on this side. So you're welcome to rock back and forth. Or if it feels right, coming up into your version of a low lunge. Pausing for five breath cycles. If you decide to come up. Keeping that dynamic movement going, maybe pausing to open up a little bit more. Then wherever you're at here, the hands are gonna meet, framing that front foot on top of the back toe. Left the back leg, here's where it's gonna change. You're gonna step back to the down dog. Our first down dog of practice, so allow yourself just some movement here. Coming up high on the toes, maybe wiggling the hips, rocking side to side, maybe drawing some circles with the hips, maybe some rolls back and forth. Just a little movement here. As you begin to open the posterior chain of the body, make sure that core is engaged. And then as you're ready, find stillness here. Maybe sinking the heels towards the mat. Then as you're ready, you're gonna lower the knees down to the mat. Come on to the tops of the feet, set up your tabletop. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. With that core engaged, lengthening the spine here. And then from this space, allowing yourself to move through cow and calf. Taking the time to explore. And then finding stillness back in your tabletop. You're gonna draw the big toes together. You're gonna sink the hips towards the heels. And you are going to find your child's pose. Whether your pose be active with the hands out in front this morning, or with the hands along the side of the body. Taking your time to breathe. Then as you draw awareness into those hands, 
Reaching them out in front, tuck the toes, left the hips, on that downward dog. Bringing awareness into the right foot, you're going to mindfully walk to the top of the mat, find that forward fold. Inhale, take a half left. Exhale, release. Reaching the arms out to the side, come all the way up, reach up, palms together. Baby back bend if that feels right. Come back to neutral. Draw the hands through heart center. Pause and here in some of CT. And moving through a little warrior series here this morning. We're going to start by lifting up the left foot. Stepping that foot back, finding our warrior two legs. So having that nice bend in the right knee, making sure you can see that right big toe, making sure you're on the razor edge of the back foot, and then spinning open and reaching out. Take a quick look behind, make sure the left arm is at shoulder height, and then gaze over the right hand. Engage the core, ground down into the mat, and then flip the right palm, reach it up. Allow the left hand to just sink down along the side of the body, lengthen both sides of the body equally. Come back to warrior two. And then bending the right arm, taking the left arm and bring the hand to the sacrum. You're just going to bring that forearm forward. Let it rest on that right quad. Palms up. And then open up. Let the chest open. Let the shoulders stack. From here, if it feels fine in your body, reach the arm up towards the ceiling or lengthen arm across the ear. From here, engage that core strength. Cartwheeling the arms up, sink back into warrior two. From here, we're going to cartwheel the hands down to the mat. We're bringing that front foot, we're spinning onto the back foot. We're going to step back to a downward dog. But know if you'd like to take a flow here, you are welcome to. If you're taking a flow, you're going to meet us back in downward dog. And then with mindful awareness, we're going to take the left leg. We're going to walk forward, find that forward fold. And I'll take that half left. Exhale, release. Reaching the arms out to that T, nice bend in the knee, push into the feet, come all the way up. Palms come together, maybe a little deeper baby back bend here, maybe the gaze is looking up towards the ceiling. Coming back to neutral, hands through to heart center, pause here in Samastiti. As we get ready to move to the other side. Coming up onto the toes of the right foot. We're going to stop back, find the warrior two legs here. So remember, we've got that internal rotation of the back leg, external rotation of the front half. Bending into that front knee, make sure you see those big toes. And then when you're ready to open up, engaging the core, reaching the arms out. Remember, you can look behind, make sure you've got that arm at shoulder height. Relax the shoulders back and down. Then with the gaze over the left hand, you're going to flip the left palm. Reach it up. Lengthening both sides equally, maybe sinking a little deeper. Then coming back to your warrior two, 
Start to feel that strength in your warrior. Then taking the right hand, bringing it to the sacrum, bending the left arm, come up. Reach that forearm down to rest on that quad. Opening up, stacking the shoulders. Remember, same options here if it feels okay to lift the arm up, go there. Or extend the arm. Then cartwheeling the arm up, finding that warrior two. Then bringing the hands down to frame the foot. You're gonna step back, take a flow if that's in your practice or just meet a downward dog. We're finding our dog each time we come to it. And from here, we're going to take our hands and we're going to walk them back to our feet. Bending forward, fold at the back of our mat. Tracing the hands of the shins, we're going to find that half left. Exhale, release. Reversing your swan, you're coming all the way up. Always the option to add that baby back bend in. Coming back to neutral, hands through to Samasthiti. Then drawing awareness into the left leg. You're going to take just a natural step forward with the left foot. You're going to wrap up onto the toes of the right and just draw that foot back and down so that the hip points are pointing forward. Make sure that that back leg is nice and grounded. You've probably got about a 40 degree angle. A nice little bend in that left knee. And then bringing hands to heart center. Drawing awareness to the hip creases. We're going to start to come forward with a nice long spine. When you're ready to release the hands, they can frame that front foot. Then as you're ready here, starting to add a little dynamic movement in here. Bending and straightening the knee. Drawing awareness to the hips, trying to even them out. So for many of us, that means drawing the right hip and a little more left hip back. Just let the movement come with the breath. And then when and if you're ready to pause in stillness, always the option to bring the hands out in front. Then from here, everyone's gonna meet in stillness. We're gonna bend into that left knee, drawing awareness into the core. We're gonna come all the way back up. Hands are going to stay in Samasthiti here. Then from here, we're going to reach the arms up and overhead. We're going to take the left hand and bring it to the hip. Right arm is going to reach out in front. As if you're shaking someone's hand, the thumb is up. Start to open up, stacking the shoulders here. If it feels right to lift that left arm up, reaching behind, coming into a twist, you're welcome to take the gaze back to it. Then sweeping the left hand to meet the right, just open up the right, countering the twist. Coming back to center, as you draw hands to heart center, press into the left foot, step back to meet the right, pause now and pose. Two breath cycles as you prepare to go to the other side. So drawing hands to Samasthiti. Stepping out with that right foot, rocking up onto the toes of the left. Find that place where the hip points are pointing forward. Start to get that little bend on that right knee. Then as you're ready, 
that nice hinge forward, long spine. Start drawing that right head back, left hip forward. When you're ready to release the hands down to the mat, go ahead and go there. And again, a dynamic movement here. Starting to open up. Hopefully this feels really good after all the sitting that we do during the day. When you're ready to pause in stillness, remember the option, the hands can be in prayer, hands out in front, challenging your balance. Drawing the head closer if that feels right. Then draw the knee in stillness and bend into the right knee. We're gonna come on up with that nice flat back, hands at heart center. Then right hand is going to come to the right hip. Left hand is going to reach out this time. Thumb is up like you're shaking someone's hand. And then start to open up towards that right side. If you stack the shoulders and it feels right to reach out with that left arm, getting this nice twist. Core engaged, left the spine a little more. And then drawing right hand to meet left. Open up to the left side. Come on back to center. Crossing into the right foot. Step back, find your mountain. Breathe. And then while we're here at the back of the mat, we're going to draw the hands to heart center. Coming into our tree pose, we're going to start with the left side. So coming up onto the toes of the left foot, turning that knee out, lifting that foot up if it feels right, placing it on the shin or the quad, or just resting the heel on the shin. Reaching the arms up and overhead, maybe finding a mudra if that's in your practice. One more breath here. And then drawing all that beautiful energy from above. Bring it through to heart center. Spend that knee towards the front, both feet on the floor. Pause. And then moving right to the other side, we're going to come up onto the toes of the right foot. Spinning that knee out, core engaged, hip points pointing towards the front of your mat. Deciding if you're lifting the foot up today or not. Remember shin or inner quad. Reaching the arms up, maybe finding a different mudra on the side. Or maybe taking the gaze up towards the ceiling, challenging your balance a little more. One more breath here. And then wherever you're at, gathering up all that energy from above, bringing it through the heart center, spinning that knee forward, foot to the floor. Releasing the hands down to mountain and just pause. On an inhale, lift the arms up and overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, take a half left. Exhale, release. Walk the hands out to downward dog. Taking your time to set up your downward dog, roll forward into a plank. Make sure the rests are underneath the shoulders, crown of the head is reaching, core is engaged, push through the heels. You're always welcome to lower the knees. Come on to the tops of the feet. Hugging the elbows in, we're gonna lower all the way down to the mat. Third eye is on the mat, hands are underneath the shoulder heads. Hug, hug, hug those elbows in. Exhale, all the air out. Inhale, just 
just a gentle left, keeping the gaze down at the mat. Exhale, release. We're going to do this two more times. So if you're ready to put a little weight into the hands, you're ready to. At your pace, inhaling up, exhaling back down. Third time when you're ready. And then after your third round, you're going to press yourself back into a child's pose. Taking the time to reset. Then from the child's pose, you're going to reach the arms out in front, making your way back down onto the mat. This time we're going to have the chin on the mat, the hands are going to be along the side of the body, palms down. Hugging the legs in together, drawing awareness into the energy moving down the body. On an inhale, you're just going to gently lift the legs up. Exhale, release. Moving to the upper half of the body. Exhale, all the air out. Inhale, gentle left of the upper body. Exhale, release. On our third round, you're welcome to do one or both. On an inhale, lifting. Maybe the palms come up. Hold in for two breath cycles. Hug those legs in. When you're ready, exhale, releasing back down. Allow yourself to find your right cheek. On an inhale, pausing in center, and then finding your left cheek. Inhale back to center, placing the hands underneath the shoulder head. You're going to make your way up to tabletop. You can take a cat and a cow here if you'd like. And then swing the legs to either the right or the left. You're coming down to seated. We're going to reach the legs out in front here. We're just going to set up a dandasana here. The toes are going to be up towards the ceiling. Core is engaged. Shoulders are over the hips. We're going to reach the arms up and overhead, and we're going to hinge up those hip creases again, and we're just going to reach forward. If you find the toes, that's fine. You can rest the hands on either the shins or the quads. Try and have nice external rotation of the shoulders, nice space between the chin and the chest. We're going to pause here for three more breaths. See if you can find a little bit more space in the vertebrae in each breath. And then on the fourth inhale, if it feels right to start rounding the back. This should feel yummy. If it doesn't feel yummy, just come back to that nice long spine. Then if you decided to come into the rounding in the back, we're going to all meet back with a long spine. We're going to reach the arms up and overhead. Core is going to help us get there. Hands are coming through to that heart center. Then from here, we're going to bend at the knees and we're going to draw the soles of the feet together. We're going to come into a bodhikanasana. 
So as you draw the soles of the feet together, get that nice long spine again. We're gonna pause here for a moment as you settle in. Remember if you have props and it feels good to have them underneath the legs, you're welcome to do that. And then if your body is craving that forward fold again, you're welcome to go there. So you have lots of options here. Hands could be on the feet. You can tuck the arms under the legs, finding a bind. Find the place that feels right for your body. Lengthening the spine for several breaths. And then when your body tells you it's right or right, and if it feels good, starting to draw the crown of the head down towards the floor. Wherever you're at, first you're gonna lengthen the spine. If you're in the bind, you're gonna release the bind. Drawing hands to the center, you're gonna come back up into that long spine. Then you're gonna take the hands under the legs, lift the knees. You're gonna extend the legs out long and begin to recline down onto the mat as mindfully as you can. Once you get to the mat, let the hands come down along the side of the body. You're going to take a couple breaths here, just settling in, maybe moving the pelvis, the shoulders. And then once you feel settled, you're going to bring the feet to the floor. Knees are facing up. You're going to hug the knees into the chest and you're going to rock side to side. And then pausing in stillness, you're going to hug the right knee into the chest a little bit more as you extend the left leg long onto the mat. Using your breath to draw that right knee in. Put flexion in both feet, make them active. And then pausing in stillness, take the right arm out to a T, let the left hand guide that right leg across the body, finding a twist. Settle into the twist first with the gaze up towards the ceiling, and then if it feels right to look over, Great shoulder bump and go there. One more breath here. And then drawing that right knee back into the chest. One more time. Using your core, bring the left knee in to meet it. Just rock. Maybe draw circles. And then pausing in the stillness, start to hug the left knee in. Extend that right leg long. Flexion in the feet, make the legs active with your breath, drawing that left knee in. See if you can as you're moving through this. Keep those shoulder blades relaxed and down the mat. Couple more breaths here. And then moving into the twist, you're gonna take the left arm out to the side, right arm is going to draw that left leg over. Couple more breaths as you settle in. Remember the option to go over the left shoulder. Then on an inhale, drawing that left knee back into center. On an inhale, bringing the right leg back in to meet it. And this time, just hugging both knees into the chest. 
The dynamic movement with the breath. Again, relaxing the shoulder blades. And then pausing it in stillness here. If it feels like you'd like to move into that little yoga egg where you draw the forehead or the chin, the nose up towards the knee, squeezing out all the air. And then as you're ready, releasing gently the shoulders down to the mat. Mindfully releasing the hands from the legs as the feet come to the floor. And then extending your legs out to find your Shavasana. Taking whatever shape feels right to you. Maybe it's adding a little body Kanasana in today. Maybe it's just letting the feet go where they would like to go. As we all close class today in Shavasana, allowing you the time, if it's available, to explore your Shavasana just a little more. The most important pose of our practice. Everything we did was to come to this space. So allowing yourself the time here. I thank you all for the privilege of getting you through your morning practice this morning. I truly hope the benefits of practice follow you into your day today and the rest of your week. May you all be happy. May you be safe. May you walk this earth always in loving kindness, at peace, and always at ease. From my heart, to all of your hearts. Namo Namaha. Namaste.